since we have SQLite 3 actually provided to us with the build of Python which we installed earlier when we installed Eclipse and downloaded Python and everything else, then we're just going to simply use SQLite 3 for this. However, you can use stuff like uh, MySQL and uh, Microsoft Access and so on, but those require different libraries which I'm not going to be teaching within this course. So if you do import SQLite 3, then we have all that we need to actually have um, to work with the database. Um, the SQL, SQLite 3 which we're importing is just a library of files which is provided within Python which allows us to interact with the database by having uh, functions already made for us. And the way which we can see that is if we do db is equal to and we'll do sqlite3.connect and now inside here we put in our name of the file which we're looking to create the database file so I'm just going to call this database.db now if we save this and run it sorry about that I spelt it wrong it's sqlite um, there's no second L within there so it's just sqlite3 and once we run that and then we refresh over here you'll see that we have it now an empty database file so if we open that up you can see it's got zero bytes within it and if we open it there's nothing inside of the actual database so to add stuff to the database what we need to do is first of all we need to create a table so we're going to do db dot execute and then within these brackets here we put in all of the SQL code which we are looking to execute so that can be anything from inserting, deleting, updating, um, creating there's all manner of different types of SQL commands that you can put in and I'm going to be teaching you the four basic ones which is to insert, update, retrieve and delete and then also we'll be uh, also using create but we'll only use that once and that is initially now so what we're going to do is going to create a table called persons or person and we're going to give that three fields so the first field which we're going to do is called first name and that's going to be a text field then we've got second name which is text field and then age which is an integer and those have got to have oops, sorry and then after that we need to um, insert a couple of pieces of data into the actual tables but that is what we're going to cover in the next video for now when we run this and open up the database again you'll see that we now have some bytes within it we've got 8192 bytes and if we open that up oops, sorry we need to refresh there you can see we've got the SQL command is now stored within here so that is how you create a database and how you create a table within Python. And you can create as many tables as you want. And to show you this, I'll just run it again. So dot execute is a um, is a function that's built into the SQLite 3 library which we import. If we didn't import it, it wouldn't work. Oh yes, um, you can't also create a table over something that already exists. So what we need to do is, if we copy that command up to the top, we can do drop table if exists person. Run that again, and you'll see that we now don't get an error. What that's done is it's deleted that initial table because it already existed. It's created it again, so we won't see any difference, but it's also created the second one now. So now if we open that up again and refresh, you'll see that we have the first table there and we also have a second table here. So you can create as many tables within database as you like and you can make them relational so that they relate to each other. So say the first name here could be related to the second name in a different table, for example, and that way the data stays within sync of each other. So thank you for watching and in the next video I'll be showing you how to insert and update records. So I will see you soon.